Greetings beautiful beings. This is your daily tarot and guidance reading. It is April 5th, 2022. My name is TJ and I am a diviner, a student of light and a spreader of light and love. This is a pick a card style reading and we have three different groups. Now we also have two different decks that we'll be using. We have the Angel Oracle deck and we also have the Smith White Tarot. Each group is represented by a different stone. The first reading will be represented by the blue Caribbean calcite. The second reading will be represented by the grape agate. And the third reading will be represented by the desert rose. If you would like, you can certainly pause the video to feel and see which grouping resonates with you, or you can go into the description box below, click on your timestamp and go directly to your reading. All right, let's get started with the first reading represented by the Blue Caribbean Calcite. Your angel oracle card is let your past go and you have an angel. It appears she appears to be at a park or perhaps even um, a cemetery and she's looking behind her. This card says the burden of carrying your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. Leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it, and it is now gone. What do you need to let go of? What do you need to release so you can let something anew in? Let's get clarification here. So you have the star and you also in reverse, and you have the page of swords in reverse. Okay, so I'm getting the indication, Blue Caribbean Calcite, that perhaps in your past, <sighs> You were feeling alone. You were feeling isolated. And perhaps um, that is because there were people in your environment who were speaking ill of you. Um, perhaps they weren't speaking very truthfully of you as well. And this has had a negative effect on your emotional sphere, on your, on your uh, mental sphere. The passage of time has obviously happened. And you needn't feel the need to carry these burdens with you anymore. It isn't serving you. And you deserve so much better than that. Are you sleeping at night? I hope so. You know, Blue Caribbean Calcite Group, when we have, when we have crazy, not so nice things happen, they can absolutely leave an impression on us. One that isn't positive and it can affect the way that we move forward in so many areas of our lives. But at some point, we have to really see the value in ourselves to put forth the effort to leave it where it is because your life is happening. Your life is moving. Nothing stays the same. Nothing is the same. Things are always, always happening. The wheels of life never stop turning. And you can't carry all those things with you because you have so much more to pick up along the way. There is good out there waiting for you. There is positivity out there waiting for you. There's, there is light and there is love. You needn't worry about those things that have happened in the past, that loneliness that you felt, the people that you felt were not there for you. Are those people still in your lives or as impactful as they were in the past? Do you have people around you, groupings around you that bring you joy, that bring you positivity, that build you up? I hope that you're able to look at your life and your current state in an objective way and you'll be able to see that you do have these things now. So you needn't feel and carry the not so positive from the past. Give yourself permission to move on. Give yourself more space to let in the light and the love that you do have around you in, in a greater volume. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you feel like it resonated with you, I, I encourage you to listen to the entire thing as they tend to be related. Why don't we move on to the next reading? And that's represented by the Grape Agate. Oh, my throat is suddenly parched. So Grape Agate group, you have the Daydream card and there's an angel in a tent and she's looking out into you know her mind's eye and she's dreaming. This card reads, you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without uh, directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. 
This is the seat of creativity. Oh, you know, the craziest things can come up when you let your mind wander and just be free. Wow. My tea is like just an arm's reach away. So I'm going to have to have a nice big uh, sip after I do this reading. Now, your angel, your angel, your Smith White Tarot cards are the King of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Cup coins in reverse. Now, the King of the King of Swords in reverse, I'm having a hard time saying that, can be somebody who is a bit bossy, you know, a bit egotistical, a bit pushy. Um, and it's funny because you have the Ten of Coins in the reverse, and this can often represent generational issues. Um, you know, young people rebelling, older people, um, you know, pulling their pulling the age card. So, Grape Agate Group, I'm getting the indication today that perhaps you're going to be in a scenario where um, you're going to feel these generational uh, issues um, or challenges, these dynamics a little bit interestingly today, but I don't think it's going to be too serious as you have the Daydream card as well. So, you know, if if someone's giving you the speech back in my day, we, we didn't do things like this and it just simply doesn't resonate with you, you know, let them have their... Let them have their moment to air out their thoughts. And if your mind wanders in daydreaming, you know, somewhere else while this is happening, that's okay. Or, you know, if you are perhaps, um, you know, a person of age and you have this young person who is very inexperienced and they're trying to give you the lowdown about something that, and it's very clear that, you know, this is their lack of experience speaking. Again, you can kind of just let them, you know, let them say what they need to say and, Drift off into your mind's eye and think of other things that are um, entertaining to you. So, Grape Aggie Group, again, I don't get the indication that this is very serious, um, but I'm sensing today that you might have a bit of a generational clash. And, um, you know, if if you're not um, in, in alignment with what the other person is dishing out, watch a movie in your mind. <laughs> it's not that serious. Great bag eight group. I hope you have a wonderful day. And you know, it's lovely when you're able to interact with others of different experiences of different life stages. You get an insight into how they think and we all don't think the same and it. And that goes even beyond age groups, right? But um, when we don't agree, or when we're just not feeling or grooving with other people. It's so much fun to daydream. Maybe you can sing a tune in your mind. Um, but sometimes you just have to let people say what they need to say and everybody can just, you know, move on from it. It's not that serious. If you enjoyed this reading or felt like it resonated with you, please let me know in the comments below. I'm so curious. Are you going to have an argument with your kid today? Or are you going to have an argument or, you know, hear a speech from an elder in a group? I wonder how this will play out for you. All right, let's move on to the last reading. And that's represented by the Desert Rose uh, Stone. Here you have the angel oracle card, opportunity to forgive, and there's an angel perched up in a tree with a koala family. Maybe it's a mama and a baby. They look so cute. This card reads, the situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies, and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. So where do you need to let forgiveness in? What do you need to let go of and move on from? Okay, so you have the three of coins in reverse, and you have the four of swords in reverse. So, you know, I'm getting the indication today, Rose Quartz group, that um, perhaps you were in a situation where um, maybe due to a lot, not due to, I'm not going to get into the reasons behind it, but maybe some sort of um, relationship, an institutional relationship, let's say between, you know, romantic partners and marriage, um, maybe with you working in an organization, something like that. Yeah. Um, maybe for some reason you were um, separated from them because the Four of Swords often indica indicates being um, put into a period of solitude, but one that was kind of forced upon you. Maybe you slipped at work and you, you broke something, I don't know, and you had to stay home. Maybe you got sick from being at work. Maybe um, in a romantic relationship, um, maybe there were delays in travel or something, so you guys weren't able to reunite together, or maybe you're building a home and it's supposed to be a place where many different people could get together, but it, is, it hasn't been able to be complete. Whatever the reason it might be, you've been a bit um, 
again, a bit of loan, a bit, uh, a bit encouraged to have solitude to reflect upon yourself. When we're by ourselves and we're really able to understand our thought patterns, especially over a, a period of time, we can learn so much about ourselves. We can learn about our challenges and our strengths, and we can understand how these things can play in when working with the dynamic of others. And, you know, maybe you need to reflect upon your actions so that way you are able to see how impactful your actions were to others and why you're kind of alone right now. Or, you know, maybe you need to um, understand better someone else's um, intentions or perspectives. And in doing so, you'll be able to open up the doors of forgiveness. You know, it's as important, as much as we'd want people to forgive us, we also need to give others the grace of forgiveness too. Everyone deserves grace and we're not always model citizens. Um, I'm not, I'm not excusing bad behavior, but you know, we are all susceptible to it at some times. We all have our different um, catalysts or triggers and um, just moments the, the, the tapestry of life can be so interesting and depending on what is happening, different aspects of our personality can really come out strongly. And there are other times when they don't come out strongly or, or, you know, so just remember Rose Quartz group, as much as you would want forgiveness, you also need to give forgiveness. And that means to yourself as well. We all have the capacity to do it and we all need it at some point. We can help to keep that type of um, reciprocation, that type of energy going. What a powerful thing when we're in a dynamic where we're able to forgive. Because it doesn't matter what type of dynamic. There's going to be challenges and, you know, th there's going to be times when we're all not acting our best. But if we can infuse forgiveness, what a beautiful place it would be. If you enjoyed this reading or you felt like it resonated with you, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you at tomorrow's reading. Take care. Bye now.